a fine good morning to you all on December the 16th. Now, I've had a message about this box, so I've got to open it a certain way. But um, I was looking in it this morning whilst trying to find this one. And I'm sad that they're coming to an end because this has been my favourite thing in December. Like, opening these every day has been one of my funniest things. So, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. All right. I can tell by the texture of it. It's a packet of tissues. This won't make any sense to anybody. But um, essentially, I think I get where this is coming from. I haven't even opened the note, so I don't even have to read the note. That was my message. Um, basically, growing up, whenever I had a cold or a flu, I um, I would always use kitchen roll or toilet paper. It was very rare I actually had a packet of tissues. I don't know why. I think it was just a, an odd thing that we did. It was just we just didn't have tissues. Like I've I've been to people's houses who have packets of tissues or boxes of tissues we just didn't really have tissues we didn't use them we just we just used kitchen roll or toilet roll i don't know why anyone else do that or am i just an odd person tell me but this is super soft by sainsbury's so uh yeah this is great i think i literally bought helen a humongous packet of these when we went to york or just before we went to york so now i can join her with my tissues the december cold and flu has been getting every Everybody, everybody, but not this guy, because this guy, this guy has been smart. No, I'm joking. Um, I've just been insanely lucky. I try and not socialize with people. I don't like people. Um, if, if I socialize with you, that, that means I really like you because I don't like spending time around other people a lot of the time. Um, as loud and as confident as I appear in public um, and on camera, I don't like it. <laughs> if I if I spend time with you, it's because I genuinely want to spend time with you. I don't like spending time with people just for the sake of it. Some people can, I couldn't do it. Drives me around the bend. But um, touch this cardboard wood. We're not going to get sick today. Today's not. Gonna, we're not going to get sick today. I've been chain drinking Lucasades, and that's been keeping me very good on the vitamin C or D, I don't know, the orange one. And um, today, the weather is actually not too bad. There's a bit of morning sun in the sky, and there's a little bit of snow on the ground, a bit of a, a light dusting, as we'd say on the weather. But um, uh, I'm going to go out and have a little bit of a walk, get some supplies ready for Saturday, uh, because tomorrow... Is my birthday, and today's the last day of being 21, so I'm going to have a little recap of uh, my 21 highlights, and then um, I'll show you the little Tom Actually parody of Love Actually at the end of the vlog that you saw the behind the scenes of yesterday, so um, yeah, pretty good day so far, thanks for these, I'm going to read the note off camera, because um, I was asked to, and um, I will uh, see you in the next one. Roll the next clip. Ladies and gentlemen. Sorry that this vlog's been a little bit short. I'll make up for it tomorrow. Um, I'm just playing Fortnite with my nephew at the moment. Uh, this morning, I just had a walk down to my local village. Uh, just as a bit of fresh air, a bit of walking. Uh, did some COD leveling up, really, getting my guns gold. I'm trying to get uh, Orion in the new year, which is like a camo challenge. That's taken me a while, but um, I just wrote down, because it's like my last day of being 21. I just wrote down a list of some of the achievements I've managed to pull off like throughout those 21 years i mean that's pretty mad i mean you know we're at level 22 this video game that we call life and i i thought that i'd stop playing this game at like level 13 so my god <laughs> i can't believe we're here but um let, let's let's rattle off some of these i wrote down just off the top of my head throughout the day um i smashed my gcses i did them that was a challenge that i wanted to overcome did that uh, with a lot of my fellow students, so well done to us guys for doing that, my generation of kids doing that. A-levels, um, I did that, that was pretty sick. Did university in the summer, completed that, university degree in the bag, perfect. The Duke of Edinburgh Award, silver and gold, that was quite a physical and mental challenge that I had to set for myself. Um, it was a dare, somebody a lot fitter and healthier than me dared me to do the Duke of Edinburgh, and I did, and I've smashed it, and I'm I'm gassed about that. I've been a paid actor on TV at the age of 11 on CBBC here in the UK. That was a cool a mini achievement. I uh, got to 1K subs, 2K subs, 3K subs, 4K subs, and now 5K plus subs. 
which is awesome. So that was amazing. The 1 million views milestone, the 2 million views milestone. Been to countries like all as many different places as I can possibly imagine. But I've been to Spain. I've been to the US. I've been to the UK, all around the UK, obviously. Iceland. Uh, I've got six videos on the YouTube channel with 100k plus views. I have 17 videos on the channel that have 10k plus views. And I have 68 videos that have 1k or more views, which is mad. We have a global audience from countries from South Africa, Canada, the United States, England, Germany, Brazil, Spain. Amazing. Amazing. So thank you very much to all of you guys for giving me this opportunity. I got my part-time job doing YouTube at uni. I worked for the media team at my uni, didn't get on with those people, so I left that job, did my own channel, smashed it bigger and better than their channel, which was amazing, and I'm just humbled and grateful to be doing what I'm doing. Um, thank you very much for your love and support over the years. I can't wait to see what 2023 has in the bag for us with the channel. Um, I'll keep you posted as we go into it. So uh, thanks very much. That was just a nice little moment to take to say thank you and look back at some of the amazing achievements we've done. And we're going to wait and see uh, for the for the future and what we've got to look forward to. But yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, without further ado, I think, let's roll the Love Actually clip. Let's go. Love Actually. So guys, you'll have just seen my Love Actually parody, Tom Actually, which is a, was a great project yesterday. If you watched yesterday's vlog, you'll see the behind the scenes of it. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and watch it. You'll see all the, the making process of it all, which is fun. Um, I'm getting ready for tomorrow. I'm trying to psych myself up. My energy levels are low. Hopefully that changes when Helen comes round and uh, when I get a night's sleep and you know wake up the next day. At the moment, I'm still not just not feeling it. I'm just not feeling it yet. It's not hit me yet. So, um, yeah, like I did before, the, before you watched the Love Actually special thing, um, you will have seen, uh, what's it called? Uh, the clip of me reading off all the achievements that I've done over the last 21 years. And yeah, like I say, pretty impressive. I'm, I'm pretty glad that I'd, I've done all that stuff. And out of everything that we've achieved and everything that I'm proud of, I'm most thankful and proud and grateful for, um, for the for the channel and for you know the education side of stuff was a big deal for me my family was never really um educationally orientated would be the word they never most of them never completed education uh, all the way through the basic levels like high school and uh, colleges and sixth forms and such university is certainly not like my sister did pretty well with her education but then she had to step back from it because she had a sport that she was like competing on like national regional levels in so obviously she didn't finish um her education for that well she finished i think her secondary education but she never ventured off to like the likes of like a, a university or something because her sport became her sort of mainstream thing that she did so she'd got great success in that and like i say now she's happy down in london with two great boys and a husband and doing a good stuff and um working in the school to this day so it's good that she's keeping the boys educated and uh keeping them in the loop uh, but for me, I, I was the first in my immediate family to go off to uni and that was a big deal and I felt that all the time. I felt that every exam, every every um, time we did an essay and submitted work, I always felt that, that weight of being like, you know, I'm I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for them as well. So I, I finished in the summer and I felt like I'd finally ticked all my boxes and I could take a step back from the education side of stuff and focus on what I actually was most passionate about, which was obviously the YouTube side of stuff. 
I had a bit of a social media job in my first year of uni, but I had a bit of a communications issue with the people running my job at the time when I was trying to help the universities thing. No credit to the, like, no discredit to the university, but the staff that I was with were, when we were doing the social media just wasn't clicking. And I thought, why am I growing your YouTube channel when you don't really understand the process? And, and I could be growing my own. So it kind of woke me up to the fact of why am I working for you when I could be working for myself and doing something I'm actually passionate about. So I quit my first job at uni to pursue my YouTube channel full time alongside my degree. And it worked a treat because <laughs> lockdown came along and I like just started grinding and hustling and, and we blew up over the, the lockdown. We got, you know, some of the old COD videos. I say the old, they're not that old, but some of the COD videos we did were like... Some of them now have got like 80, 90,000 views and it, that's just mad. And that all happened over lockdown. So it was just grinding, being in the brain and, and the right mindset and being able to be in the right work environment. And it was, and it was great. And like I say, this year I attended my first Comic-Con, traveled a lot, got to go to the States again. I always loved it there. Um, and just in, in recent memory, obviously my, my partner Helen and I, we had our niece Charlotte just turn one. So she's not even like two yet, and that's mad. So we've got two nephews and a niece now, which is amazing. And then on top of all of that, the channel has just been, you know, it's grown. So that's that's for you guys. That's thanks thanks to you guys. So I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, I'm gonna wait for Helen to come, and I'm gonna go to bed. And then next day, new day, birthday. Pretty mad. <laughs> I'll see, see you when I'm 22. Peace.